how to add admin user to Hostinger website builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add an admin user so you can go ahead and give them the permission to manage your websites, modify the websites or add some specific, uh, uh, let's say features or commands that you're going to give them. So the process is going to be very easy. And for the admin role, it is going to be a very high priority role that will allow the admin or the users that you have given them the permission or the role to buy or purchase some on the Hostinger, uh, let's say products or extensions. So make sure that you're going to give this role or the admin user role to the, uh, let's say chosen person and not anyone. So how you can access the permissions. So you're going to head over the uh, H panel, sign in for an account, as you can see here, you are going to click on your account. As you can see, this is the public account of the account. You're going to click on account sharing. And now we are going to see the request access and the grant access. So basically, if you're going to request access to a website, it is not going to be for today's video. Uh, but if you are going to have here or grant the access or give the role of an admin user to someone, you're going to click on grant access. And as you can see, we have already someone that we have given the access for this specific Hostinger account. Now, how we can give or grant the access, you're going to click on grant access. Then you're going to uh, click on the uh, email address in here and start typing of the email address of that person. After that, you're going to select the permission row. We have two principal rows in here. We have the admin and we have the collaborator. The admin could buy or purchase some of the, um, let's say features or the uh, renewal of the plans that you have into your Hostinger account, but the collaborator can not. But here the payment method is going to be yours and not the admin because they are not going to be able to add their card, but your card is going to be used instead. So for the managed service, you can go ahead and select the website that you have in here, and then you're going to have it right there. So basically, I don't know why this is the chosen website. I think that this is the name of the, not the name of the website, but it is going to be the uh, name of the account. Then you're going to click on grant the access and it will uh, send for that specific email address a, a specific email that will uh, accept or they will accept the um, invitation on it uh, for them. For example, if you're going to uh, get that specific person in here, they are going to create a, a website, um, let's say user in it with their name or their email address and also their chosen password basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one